What's going on everyone, Bows Phoenix here, and today I wanted to talk about Kensei the Sword Saint. And before we go too far into this, I really just wanted to make this video to start a conversation on how we can improve this character. Anyway, for some background, I've recently been trying to wean myself off of Valkyrie, and I told myself that I'd never play a filthy dex casual samurai character, but man, Kensei just called my name. Giant Nodachi sword, a cool looking armor, nifty moveset, the list goes on. Now. There's no doubt that he's a very attractive character on paper. So, after about 25 hours on this character, I can ultimately say that my attitude towards Kensei is that of pure frustration. But before we get into why, let's briefly go over what Kensei is supposed to be. Kensei is simply described by the game as a Vanguard class with good range. The Vanguard role in For Honor, for those of you that don't know, is kind of like the Jack of All Trades role. They've got solid defense, decent damage, and are adaptable to a multitude of situations. They were pretty much designed as a character that you should be on equal footing with against any of the other class archetypes. The Warden is a perfect example of this. He's got a lot of really good options against just about any class type, and he's currently top tier according to his win stats in just about every game mode. In short, the Warden is what Kensei definitely could have been. But we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about that frustration I mentioned earlier. Kensei was more or less designed to be a slow swinging, hard hitting character with decent mix ups, but due to the turtle meta we're currently in right now, he's more or less been reduced to a low mobility counter attacker. He's got great range due to his giant sword, sure, but none of that really matters if you've got some of the slowest attacks in the game. For example, a Shigoki, the biggest, slowest character, has a faster side light attack than a Kensei. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So with slow attack speed and very predictable, parryable chains, what does that leave you with exactly? Well, mind games. The whole strategy of a Kensei is pretty much to feint, bait out parries, and rely on getting the occasional top light or guard break in. If you're playing against skilled players that have the parry down for the top light, which believe me isn't that difficult, then that's another tool you have that's pretty much useless. It's almost the same story for Lawbringers. They've got maybe a few more tools, but they're both kinda in the same boat. Now, some of these tools work really well against mid and low level players. Against inexperienced players, feints aren't that great because they're pretty much busy trying to attack you all the time, so the best thing here is just to parry and smack them around a little bit. Mid-level players actually respond to the feint, and you can get a little more punishment in, but where it all kind of falls apart are the high-level players. They block top, which makes helm splitters and top lights hard to land, and off a parry into a guard break, you can't really punish them. The top heavy unblockable into side feint is usually just parried, or certain characters can just dash out of it entirely. Now, you could cancel the top unblockable or side heavy and go into a guard break, but most players can see this coming as well and just counter it. If you do manage to land some of this though, you're pretty much out of stamina. Parry, side heavy, top heavy, unblockable, feint, and to grab doesn't really leave you a whole lot of stamina to effectively punish with. So how do we fix the character? In my opinion, he definitely needs something stronger for sides. His side dash light is easily countered once a player learns to adapt, so it's not very reliable against higher level players. A really great suggestion I heard was to give him the ability to cancel top heavies into side lights. This would cause the opponent to respect both sides as well as the top, giving Kensei a lot more mix up options. And just to put it out there, I don't think stat buffs are the answer. He could have more health, do more damage, etc, but that doesn't change the fact that he's got subpar mechanics. Another thing I think might do well for him though is to add a bit more speed to some of his light attacks. They did the same thing for Valkyrie, and it made a massive difference in how she's played. But that's the hard thing about balancing characters. You move a slider a little too far one way and things get broken. That being said though, I'd love to see what you guys think this character needs. As I said before, I had really hoped to turn this into a sort of discussion. At the end of the day though, as he stands now, Kensei is pretty much a blank slate of a character. I feel like he's one of the characters the devs designed early on and then sort of forgot about as they got to the later ones. In pretty much every fight, I feel like you need to be at least twice as good as the opponent you're fighting against, and it's a constant struggle to just land hits. I will say this though, learning Kensei has made me a much better player mechanically at the game. Learning how to feint, parry better, guard break counter, and take advantage of my environment for those free unblockable top heavies has forced me to get ultra creative when I play Kensei, and I am really grateful for that. But that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and get subscribed for more For Honor content. Until next time, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.